Hello everyone, as always I'm Peter and this is the police. So I have not been around for a while. <laughs> as you may have noticed, uh, my channel has been active, inactive for a week and uh, that is because I went on a camping trip and uh, when I got back I needed more time than I thought to recover. I did have videos going out the entire time that I was away, but uh, yeah, I did, didn't, didn't anticipate myself being so exhausted after the, the fact. Um, also, there's some other reasons why you haven't seen some content on my channel, but I'm going to go into that in a separate video that should be going out uh, the day after this one. So be prepared for that. But let's just get into it right now, see what we've got going on here. So 86% uh, of residents oppose demolition of Corn Monument. Okay. Businessmen express desire to leave city. That's not good. Uh, movie production studio may appear in Freeburg. Well, there's one business that will be coming. Let's get to work and see what we got going on. I've also updated my memory, and uh, my frames have been amazing so far in this. All right, so uh, not that this has a lot of, you know, uh, frame rate uh, going on in this game. It's very linear. But anyway, uh, my mother was just hit by a car. She's been rushed to the hospital. She's fighting for her life. Uh, I should be with her. Can I miss my shift? Yes, that's fine. I should have said come in tomorrow, but, you know, all right. No one else called out. So we're on B shift. All right, fantastic. So we got some new officers here from last time. So we got Everts. Uh, I think Kazumi is new, and who else? Goodwin, I think? Possibly. Oh, we still got Price here. Should we report her? No, I guess not. I can't I can't do that, I guess, right now. All right, let's go with Beethoven. I know this is actually my favorite one right now. There was a song I used that got a copyright flag on my channel, and I don't know which one. It disappeared, but it was. I, I don't even know which song it was, so I guess if it ever pops up again, I'll know. All right, City Hall request. Let's see what they gave me. Uh, officer slot. Nope, we can't do it with you right now. Mafia, your share. Ooh, got some of that. Uh, I'm taking everything this time. I gotta be a little bit greedy this time. I know I went into an Irish accent there for a second. Uh, okay, so, first thing of the day. The Sands need some help, huh? The Sand family main attorney is under guard around the clock, and that goes double for his children. But before we could pick them up from school this morning, some of Vargas' punks kidnapped them. Oh my god. We don't know how... Varga found them. Uh, they live under false names. Anyway, you'll need to act quickly. Uh, they can't have gotten far. Well, that they're, ch they're children. I can't ignore that. Um, let's send Yancey and Goodwin on this one. Hopefully they find them. I'm doing it for the children. I'm not necessarily doing it for the, uh, the Sands. Because, I mean, come on. Children in, in the middle of this? That's not right at all. So, we're going to go ahead and help them out. See what we get. Oh, finally got a call. Cops are responding right past it, it looks like. All right, so fight in progress at the elementary school. Two senior students began to fight right in the middle of the chemistry class. Their teacher, Dolores Ponder, uh, first tried to calm them down, but when she attempted to separate them, she was poked in the eye. That's horrible. All right. Uh, Birch, uh, it's, it's just children fighting. I'm going to send one cop out to that because... You don't send a lot of people out for that call. I think Birch can handle it. If he can't, then that's his problem. Uh, okay. This is a detective thing. What do we got here? Uh, Museum of Feelings... Museum of Feelings and Fine Art. That's an interesting name. At night, a little-known painting of the Dutch master De Vroom... Vroom Vroom, baby. Uh, recently shown for the first time, disappeared in the museum. One of the museum's windows is broken, and there's a brick lying on the inside. All right, well, we only got two detectives, so, uh, Mullen de Brito, uh, it's all yours. They're responding code three after that. We have, uh, one officer coming back. Hopefully they found the children. Uh, do we even find out? I don't know if we'll, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. All right, uh, at the hospital, we got a drug sale going on. Really? Uh... Miss Dunbar said that a nurse tried to sell her drugs right in the hospital. I went to the doctor after I broke my arm. The nurse heard me complaining about the pain and waited until the doctor left. And she stated telling me that the pills she could get me better than Vicodin. Okay, uh, one cop on that one. Again, I'm, I'm being very light on some of these calls because they sound like uh, either false alarms or bullshit. All right, fight in progress. Birch, what do you got? Fender escaped, also unharmed. All right, well... They will be coming back to school eventually or get suspended. Yeah, it's not a big deal. All right, investigation has started on the theft. What do we got here? Oh, that's a lot of frames I got to fill in. 
Oh, okay. Mr. Campos, uh, he is the museum guard. I walk to museum every hour. The alarm is off. That's weird. City Hall won't allocate money to fix it. Oh, it's broken. It's not off. That's, that's a whole different thing. Uh, I didn't hear the glass breaking. It's a mu big museum. When I went down this way again, it was already early in the morning. Wow. I need more guards or an alarm. Uh, the window was broken and the canvas was cut from the frame. Uh, there was no trace of anyone uh, just to break line the floor. Why would you cut it from the frame? Like, you're damaging the actual painting doing that, but that's fine. Usually you should take the whole thing. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not a thief. I wouldn't know. I know in the movies they cut it sometimes and stuff it in like a little, you know, contain round container and they roll it up and all that. Anyway, museum parking lot. The parking lot was empty all night. In the morning, a cyclist went past uh, with a tube on his shoulder. Aha, see, I told you it was a tube. The guy's shoulders... The guy slowly rolled into the parking lot and then the bike and a cup and left the bike for a couple minutes and went out of sight. Then he came back on the bike and left. But how do we know that? There's no witness to that. Uh, Mr. Vanderhoff. I know somebody by that name. Uh, art student. Uh, yeah, art school student. I suffer from insomnia and often go cycling around the city late at night. I took a tube and some other equipment so I wouldn't have to go back home after my morning classes of school. I stopped at the museum to pee. I admit it. I like to mark the corner of the building. I imagine one day work will be my work will be hanging inside. Okay. That sounds suspicious. So okay, he's a witness right there. I mean he's a witness but he's also no he's not a witness, but he's a suspect. Alright, Jeremiah Stevens, teacher at the art school. In my lectures, one of the works of the Dutch Masters, uh Brander Bram Vanderhoff, God that's the name always sharply criticized the work of the Vroom. He dismissed the legendary artist as overpriced mediocrity and was very amused when he, uh, the unknown Vr the Vroom painting was discovered in a city dump. He said it was already in the proper place. He was less amused when he learned the, the Vroom painting hung in the museum and I was surprised when Bram uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Bram who broke into the museum and stole the painting to burn it or cut it into tiny pieces. Museum window. Glass is almost completely broken out. A grown man could easily climb through the window and not cut himself. Most of the shards were lying on the pavement. Under. Okay, so we, we got that. We have no frames. So that's the investigation starting. God, that was a lot of things to read. Now, well, let's see if we've got any more calls coming. Seems like a nice bright day. It's not going to storm or anything by the looks of it. Uh, and the gangs have been, the gangs, they've been very quiet. Alright, drug sale, what do we got? Probably gonna escape, right? Yep, escape, we only sent one cop. Alright, we gotta do better than that from now on, then. Uh, oh, we found some cocaine, though. That's not bad. Alright, uh, ask the mafia to sell it. We haven't brought any evidence to the police station yet, which might be detrimental to us. What the hell is this? Cornelius Blunt. Mr. Boyd, I'm a wealthy man, and I'm I am concerned about the fate of our fair city. I would like to fund three additional officer pensions no way at the police department but I must offer you one condition uh, my adopted son is to take one of the new jobs of course you mustn't fire him under any circumstances do we have a deal damn yeah I want three more cops absolutely all right so we can hire some officers so oh shit what was his name um my god look at this lady wow <laughs> She is old. Oh, hello. Uh, excuse me. Uh, okay. I did. Did I hire him? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. There he is. Percy. Per Percy. Percy. Per no. Yeah, Percy. Look, five experience. He's got a mullet and a mustache. Wow. Who let this redneck on my force? Oh right, I did. <laughs> excuse me. Pooks. Poots McGillicuddy. Poots McGillicuddy. I am. I am hiring him. I have to hire him. Um. Oh my god, it's hilarious. Okay, wait. So, B shift's got a lot of cops. Let's do this for A shift. Poots. <laughs> I'm calling him that from now on. Oh, I got curbsided poops. Poots. <laughs> I even said it wrong. Um. Who else do we got? Uh. uh I want a name I can pronounce too. You know, she's got plenty of experience. Let's go with her for, I think, A shift, because I don't know. I can't view my A shift right now, can I? Yeah, that's fine. A shift. That'll work fine. All right, so now we've got four. We got these cop positions. That's fantastic. All right, Christopher Sands. Some goons grabbed the half sister of one of our family members right off the streets. Her driver called us from the nearby fay phone, but he's a wimp and couldn't actually do anything. From the description we got, it sounds like Vargas's men. 
I keep saying Vargas. It's Varga, not Vargas. There's no S in there. There's an S there, but it's because it's a plural. Uh, if you get there first, hold on to them. Don't hurt them too much. Just make sure they don't let they don't escape. Blah blah blah. blah. I'm reading this all butcherly. Butcherly? That's a new word. Uh, we have something special planned. All right. Um, Goodwin and Yancey. It's been quiet. They should be fine for this, I'm sure. This guy. I can't fire him for any reason. Look how tired he is. He's a freaking lazy mother with a freaking mullet and a mustache. Like, he, he doesn't like he doesn't look like a pedophile. I'll give him that. I don't think he looks like a pedophile, but damn, man. Oh, it's going to storm, isn't it? I heard thunder. Welp. Got a call here. What do we got? Robbery in progress at the city center. A parking valet just called in reporting that a girl exiting an expensive car was approached by a man wearing a hood who threatened her and took her bag. Okay. Uh, Kazumi and Purdy. Get out there. Rest that guy. We gotta, we gotta catch somebody today. Like, all of our offenders have escaped today, and that's my fault. I didn't send enough cops to handle things. I don't know why I was doing the light duty thing. I thought it would help. Um, but we'll see what happens. Fortunately, they were not too far away. There we go. We got a report on that robbery. Let's see what we got here. Tell me they got him. Yes. Offender caught. Officer's unharmed, and uh, assumedly also the person who was robbed. All right, got a assault, assault with a offensive weapon. I'm sorry, did like, did it, you just pull out like a pen and paper and write something like on it that offended somebody? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> offensive weapon. Uh, most weapons are offensive. I mean, I mean, well, it's, no, just defensive weapons. I'm going off on a tangent. Anyway, uh, Diamond Dog State Penitent Penitentiary. Uh, the older prisoner tried e trying. Yeah. Let me start over. I'm sorry. An older prisoner tired of eating food is served in the prison cafeteria made his way into the kitchen carrying a shiv intent on having a word with the chef well that's not really having a word if you're coming in with a shiv a guard called the police they don't they don't necessarily do that as he was reluctant to enter the kitchen for fear of further provoking the prisoner that that's but that's what you're supposed to do you call in additional help guards and all right Derek Yancey Goodwin get out there take care of this I think we're going to be okay with that many officers going out on that call. Especially since they're going into a prison. It's the end of the day anyway. I think that's pretty much the last call. So that's not a bad thing. I think we'll be alright. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, and it was pretty quiet other than that. I mean, no one died, fortunately. We lost two offenders, but uh, that's that's alright. We'll, we'll make up for that. Alright, uh, yeah, it's a multiple choice. This is where bad things <laughs> tend to happen for me. Alright, the kitchen floor is decorated with broken plates and overturned pan filled with muddy slush. Yeah, that's probably why they, he was pissed off. Elderly prisoner is sitting on a stool, dipping his hands into the pot of slush and shoving it towards the cook's face, yelling, you try and eat this shit. <laughs> uh, you're lucky you got fed at all. Let's cook up something else. Only takes a minute. Hey, we've got a couple of nice warm burgers here. Uh, let's go with this one. Did we get him? Yeah, well, no shit. He's in a prison. All right, everyone was unharmed. They all gained experience. I mean, how could you not catch the guy? He's in a prison. If he escaped, that would have been funny. Because how... I would have fired all three of them. Because how would you lose a prisoner in a prison? <laughs> if he escapes while the cops are there? First of all, the, the, the prison needs better guards and better defenses anyway to keep people in. And, uh, yeah, that's just... I don't know. That would have been that would have been a whole mess. I would I would I would have given up on this game if that actually happened. Oh, we have a theft report here. I didn't even see that. Uh, detectives got three additional frames. Let's just check a look at this real quick. All right, uh, what do we got here? This is okay. Uh, someone breaking the window with what looks like a flashlight. That was a brick. Uh oh, placing the brick. And that, my friends, is a guard cutting the painting. Okay. We'll see how this pans out. We might get additional frames that might actually show it's maybe the bicyclist or somebody else. But right now, it looks like we're suspecting the guard. That's very, very interesting. I guess we'll see what happens there. Um, it could be that it was an inside job. Let's end the day here, see what we got going on. All right. Uh, Sands are currently the leader right now. That ship should be over there. Can I? No, I can't. Vargas is on the rear, but we did help because... Uh, frankly, there were children involved. I had to get, I had to 
do something. It was not because of that. But hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. We're not done yet. Uh, oh, my God. He's so exhausted. He can't even do shit. Oh, that's all right. Well, I guess I'll let him rest. Whatever. Um, a shift's got plenty of cops. I'm not going to send anyone over there. So we're actually very even to the point where I don't have to send anyone. So that's good. So we're going to end this day here. We're going to go on to day 17. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.